This week the vlog will start at the end because at the end of this vlog I will travel to Hong Kong. That's where I am right now. But we started Monday. Take a look. Good morning. This is where a new week starts. It's early in the morning. I just have a stop to drink a cup of coffee. On my way to um, to Copenhagen, where I have two sparring sessions and one morning meeting, and that's it. Then I'm going back to Swinburne, where I have my own supervision with a psychologist down there, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be a great day. It's time to leave this customer and then go to Svendborg and uh, have my own supervision. So when I say that recognition was an important part of this week, it's because the, the meeting that I had, the sparings went well, but the meeting I had was actually with one of my, one of my customers and uh, I didn't feel that he recognized me for what I've been doing for the company. I didn't feel that he recognized that I actually said no to other things so I could do more for this company and and actually tried hard to to do a to do an effort and and when I went into the meeting what I realized was that he didn't really recognize me for doing that and um, that was kind of upsetting because I don't want people to say thank you but kind of like mistreating me and trying to get more out of me, trying to squeeze me so they can get more money and more efficiency out of me, even though I do give a lot, that made me behave in a bad way. So actually, what I'm against is the I want, I want, I want, actually turn around so I became a I want thing. And and that's a problem because I become something I don't want to be. And, and the transference of the normal company thinking, wanting, 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 suddenly became me. And I hated that. I really hated that. So I had to do a lot of thinking about that and, and I was actually kind of upset when I drove home. And what I realized was that I felt sad. I was actually sad about that a good relationship, a, a lot of work that I've done suddenly was suffering um, for my customer's behavior and, and that was upsetting. And and uh, what happened was that uh, I had a call with him the day after because he went back to his manager saying, Poo. and he came back and said, I've talked to my manager and we've found some solutions. We can agree to this and that. And would that be okay with you? And that meant a lot to me that he recognized me. Suddenly he did recognize me. He he actually said. I understand you, Michael. I understand where you're coming from. I feel the same way. I will go back and fight, fight your case. That meant a lot to me. That was him recognizing me. Suddenly, he showed that I'm still belonging to that part of the organization and so on. So that was important. So that was one thing about recognition that became very important to me during the last week. It is Tuesday morning. I'm on my way to do a keynote presentation in Horsens, but there is a really bad situation going on right now. A really, really bad situation. And uh, let me try to explain. At home, next to my bed, there's a table with a charger and there's my phone. So I'm, I left without my phone. And I use my phone for like everything. Now, I could go back and pick it up, but I decided I want to try to have a day without a phone and see how that works for me. I think it's going to be tough because already right now I know I use the phone to navigate and I have to find a way to find to the location to the venue I do have to do my presentation so that's the first problem but uh, I think it will be possible to find solutions if I kind of like just use uh, free internet around and take some pictures on my iPad I will find solutions but this free Wi-Fi in here. Another problem I realized is that I don't have the address for for the venue where I'm gonna be. I only have for the for the shop where I have to go before I go to the venue. But um, I miss my emails. But I might I miss my calendar where I have all the informations. 
but hopefully it works. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how much influence it actually have on your life when you're without a phone, when I'm without a phone for an entire day. I can feel already now that I'm constantly thinking about I need it, I need it, it's not there. So it, mentally it's kind of like taking over uh, and there's some kind of anxiety not knowing can I do without it, um, but I have to do without it, but it's an interesting process not having it. So we lost a bit of time here, but uh, I'm still good. I think I'm half an hour down now, but uh, it's gonna be okay. Boom, I found it. Brilliant. I really don't know whether I'm in the right place or not, but uh, we will find out in a few seconds, because now the parking is paid and uh, we need to find the theater. I was absolutely off track, but this uh, nice lady, she helped me to find the right way, so I was going in the wrong direction. I need my phone, I really need my phone. There it is, beautiful. So this is the backstage and uh, I'm ready to do the presentation, but right now they're having dinner. Let's see if we can look in. I am finished with the presentation, they're still going on in there, but uh, now I'll have to find my way home. After the presentation Tuesday at Hartman Academy, I, um, I got a lot of recognition from Animeda, who is the CEO of Hartman in Denmark, and I got a lot of feedback from, from the people in the audience, and, and that is absolutely brilliant that's good that feels good but what i was most struck by was that a lot of the people from the audience actually went the extra meter to recognize me by going to the internet and giving me good feedback and sharing with other people that michael did this and that and i think that's pretty amazing that people go do their utmost to give something good to others and this is what I actually preach that I would love people to do and experiencing that on my own experiencing that people will say well Michael said something that interested me when he was doing the presentation I felt good about it I would like to share with others that that was a thumbs up that's amazing and and that feels good and and, and now I want to do more of it because uh, it makes sense so so maybe I'm a maybe I'm a sucker for recognition as well Wednesday morning, recharged the battery for the camera, arrived here at the train station of the own dens, and now I'm going to Copenhagen to facilitate a leadership program over there. It's easy to take the train today because it's in the center of Copenhagen I have to work, so. Okay, I get it, there's a value to public transportation. It's good for the environment and you have an hour to work and all that is good. But it seems like in Denmark that it's often delayed and it was today so right now I'm running around in Copenhagen trying to find my way and I know I'm gonna be late and I really hate that I like to be on time I like to be there before so everything's ready when the participant comes but uh, that's not gonna happen today unfortunately and now I have to find <laughs> I'll have to find the place where we have to do the the training This is absolutely the most crazy venue I've ever been at, but uh, pretty cool, pretty cool setup. So I'm back in the train, ready to go back home to Odense. Great day, great program, great people. I enjoyed it. What I really enjoy is when young leaders, these were a bunch of, of young leaders, when they take up the opportunity to think about why they should become managers, why they should work with leadership. And, dare to be vulnerable in the room with the other managers. I, it just makes my job great. I love seeing that. I love being a part of that. I love being a part of that development. But that was it for today. Tomorrow morning, I have to go to a leadership meeting and then I have to go to a keynote presentation, but that's tomorrow. For now, it's just going back home and relax. Thursday morning and I'm just like the public transportation, running late. Damn it. Bad.
back in the car, finished the leadership meeting this morning, and uh, now I'm on my way to the concert hall in Copenhagen, where I do need to make a keynote presentation for Hartmann Academy. It was also the same uh, job I did uh, Tuesday in, uh, in Horsens. It was also for Hartmann Academy. This is absolutely a beautiful venue. I'm looking forward to doing the presentation in a few seconds. There's a lot of technique going on and uh, having a MacBook Pro with only the USB C's, that really sucks. Uh, they're having difficulties in finding solutions, but uh, it's gonna work. So I'm mic'd up and ready, and behind me is Jens. He's the photographer of tonight. for today, done doing the presentation. They're having fun up there right now and um, I'll just leave and go home. Leaving the concert hall, going back to Odense. Nice job, nice people and uh, yeah I really enjoyed it. Now the problem is I can't find <laughs> I can't find the car. After I finished the program Thursday and uh, I went home what happened Tuesday happened again Thursday. A lot of people from the audience went the extra meter to do good to me, to share with other people that they enjoyed what what I've been doing, what I've been saying, and, and I really appreciate that. Thank you very much for, to all of you who've done that. And uh, also I noticed that Hartman Academy and the people who are part of Hartman are very good at using the social media. They're very good at recognizing each other, sending out now Jens and Michael have been here, they've done a great job, thanks, and blah, blah, blah. And they're good at sharing, they're good at liking each other's posts and so on. And, and it feels good, it feels nice. And it is a brilliant program they've put together. They do that every year. They have, I think it's four uh, sessions, um, or actually eight sessions, but one in Aarhus, then one in Copenhagen, and then one in Aarhus, one in Copenhagen, Aarhus, Copenhagen. They do that four times a year. Uh, and they always bring in new speakers from around the world who has something new and interesting to talk about. And I appreciate very much that they dared greatly to bring me in to talk about compassion-focused leadership, which is new, which I do appreciate that they were brave enough to do and brave enough to use their brand to, um, to try to boost my thoughts about compassion-focused leadership. So. Thank you very much, Hartman. That is extremely appreciated. It is Friday morning. It's the last day of the week, as you know, which is brilliant. And uh, today I only have to do a presentation at a scrum conference in the building behind me. And after that, I have a small meeting about a conference I'm going to do in December, talking about strategy. And that's the end of the day and the end of the vlog. So that is going to be great. And tomorrow I am heading off for Hong Kong where I'm going to be next week doing a leadership conference out there. But uh, let's finish Friday. Friday got finished and everything was good. Nice talking to the Scrum Masters. Great people, very enthusiastic, very uh, curious about how can we influence our employees in a positive way. How can we how can we develop the way that we work with our employees and how can we develop the way we work with the projects that we work with very enthusiastic people very engaged i like that thank you for participating that you did next week's vlog has already started being recorded because it's a vlog from hong kong but thank you very much for all the appreciative things that have happened over the week but before i check out i would like to send a great huge thank you back to you guys who watch my vlog and comment on the vlog all of those of you those of you who have shared the vlog who have liked the vlog thank you it means a lot to me and i still hope that we can create some kind of movement in order to get better leadership out there so uh, thank you very much mm -hmm.